sultry shit. Are you ready? Hello, darling. Welcome to the second installment of the Crazy Sexy Cool series. This is the sexy look. So we're giving you wing, we're giving you, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever the word for uh, is, we're giving you that, okay? We're giving you intensity in the eye. Look at me, I'm the captain now. We're giving you nice nude lip, pretty highlighted skin. This is definitely a look that I would love to wear on a date if your girl was booed up, but that ain't the case, so it's okay. So we're gonna show you how to do a wing with just shadow. Everything is blended out, but it still looks kind of grungy and blown out. Um, so without further ado, stay tuned for the rest of this video. We're gonna show you all the tricks to be sexy. It's coming in right here. See you later. All right, foundation is laid. Now we need to get this eye together. I'm gonna do that off camera and then we'll come back and we'll do this one together. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my eye with some little sticky sticky primer, AKA the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And we're gonna smear that. I'm gonna use the precise edge and go under the brow because I haven't cut my brows yet. And I'm just gonna blend that out with a spoon. I'm taking Necessary from the Friendcation palette and I'm just gonna tap this into my crease with a blending brush. Normally you're used to seeing people sweep with a blending brush, but we're tapping today, okay? Reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna build the color and I wanna control where all the smokiness goes. I don't wanna like blend everything out and it just be like one big weird funky mess. Next, I'm gonna take a dome shape brush and I'm going in with jeans and I'm gonna do the same thing but just a little bit lower in my crease and I'm like literally patting the color. You can also kind of like bring it out a little further because we're gonna have a wing anyways so we want things to be below and back. To blend all that out, I'm going back in with Necessary and the same blending brush and I'm gonna pat over it and you see how that kind of diffuses all that stuff, all the blends. I'm going into my Morphe 35M palette and I'm taking a kind of fluffy angled brush and I'm going into the black and I'm gonna start building a crease. Well, not starting, but I'm gonna define it with some darker colores. So I went along that crease edge, and then I'm also gonna take this, kind of like work it into like a wing. And I'm also gonna take that in my inner corner, very light handed, and pull it. I'm taking a light brown in that same palette, and I'm gonna go back over the black, this time I'm just gonna like lightly sweep it also because black is a lot harder to blend. And if all that black kind of goes away, you can lightly go over it again with your angled brush. I'm taking a more precise angled brush and I'm going in with that black and this time I'm gonna actually create the wing. This wing here I didn't use liquid liner with or like gel liner, I used just the eyeshadow. So we're gonna go ahead and build that out. So same technique as before. Draw out the initial line, then come back, meet in the middle, and then from here, meet in the middle, and then fill the rest in. Okay, so now it's time to go in with a little bit of a darker chocolate brown. Um, so I'm gonna take the chocolate brown that's in that same Morphe palette, and I'm gonna go in right here. Kind of use it, run that along the black, and pop it in this back corner right here so we can have like a gradient. So everything goes from like light brown to the dark brown to the black. And then on the outside edge, I'm going in with jeans from the 
demarcation palette and I'm just going to dust that outside. Don't worry if the outside edge of your wing is kind of like wonky. You can go in with like an angled brush and some of the concealer that you use on your eyes and just clean it up, run it along the line so that way all your mistakes underneath that wing can be erased. Okay, so for underneath the eyes, I'm going in with Necessary and I'm running that along the entire bottom edge with a nice wide dome brush because I want everything to be smoky. So I want the color to start from like way down here. So I'm using a wide brush so that way it can cover a whole bunch of area, lay down a nice light brown so that way I can build up the color to a darker color and eventually into the black. Now I'm going in with that angled brush and I'm going into jeans. I'm gonna pat this in along the dark or along the waterline. If you need to blend it, go back in with the brush from before. Blend it. Now I'm going in with the precise angled brush and I'm gonna take that black from the Morphe palette and I'm gonna run this right along the bottom waterline. All right, after you have all that black on your waterline with the angle brush, I'm gonna go in with that same dark brown from the Morphe palette and on a shader brush, small one, and smoke it out. Smoke it up and cake. All right. Last thing before we sharpen the inner corner is same flat angle brush into the black. Kind of run this in the inner corner and connect it to the top line. That way there's like a little base in there before you put down your liner. So I'm gonna take the Clinique Pretty Easy liner in black. I'm just gonna take this and precisely draw out that little V in the inner corner. For my waterline, I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Eye Studio, the cream liner in black on an angle brush, and I'm just gonna pop that in my waterline. Mascara, we're using NARS Climax. Last but not least, color underneath the brow bone. We need to make sure that something in here is shimmering because we really, really, really like shimmer. So I'm using the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania. I don't even know what the color is. This is so old, I'm so sorry, but it's like a bronzy gold. I'm gonna wet my little brush here and then I'm gonna put it underneath my eyebrow. So since this pigment is gonna be very, very bright, especially because the brush is wet, I'm gonna make sure that I put it down in the middle first. And then I'll just like rub the residual out in both directions. There. And then on top of that, if you love doing too much like me, I'm gonna put the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter over that, but only in the middle. And then for blending sake, I'm taking the same fluffy brush that we initially used with Necessary on it. I'm not going back in the palette, but I'm just using it to kind of melt together the crease and the brow bone color. Now I'm just waiting for my lashes to get tacky. These lashes that I'm using today are the Vegas Nay, I think they're called Grand Glamour, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put a picture of what the lashes, like the boxes looks like. Uh, but I like these because they're very like, <laughs> so that's what we're going for. All right, the eyes are on, they're done. They're very smoldering. So now let's get to the rest of the face. I just want to brush off the rest of the baking powder. If you get any black shadow, like residual black shadow, you can just go in with your sponge that you did your foundation with. Kind of press it in there. 
you can also go in with your foundation brush. Make sure all of that is gone. For highlight, I'm going back in with the Amrezy highlighter. And I'm just gonna sweep this on my shig bones. I'm also gonna put some on the tip of my nose. And down the bridge of my nose. And on my cupid's bow. For the lips, I'm taking World by MAC and I'm just going to line my lips. And then I'm taking MAC Viva Glam 2 lipstick. On top of the Viva Glam 2, I'm just going in with my Pat McGrath lip gloss in Flesh Fantasy. And then for setting spray, I'm just using the Morphe setting mist. All right, you dirty birds, this is it, okay? This is the sexy look of the series. So um, pretty much what we were going for here is something that was really sultry, smoky, smoldering. You know, when you're looking at your date from across the table, you want him to pee himself because you just look so good. So that's definitely what I feel like we achieved here. Everything is nice and grungy, but it still has some, like, you know, like a little sprinkle of sex in there. It's nice. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. And definitely let me know if you decide to recreate this look. I think it's 10. Have a happy and safe Valentine's Day. And thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the crazy video, if you haven't watched it yet, or the cool video, which should be coming out after this. Happy Valentine's Day, love you. Bye. I'm super scared. Super scared. <laughs>